Today we're talking about habits, rhythms, we're talking about how do you stay healthy, um, and what does normal look like? Is there a new normal? And we're glad you're with us as we jump into another episode of Tacoa Talks. This is Austin and I'm Lauren and we are happy you guys are here with us as we jump in. And the reality is when COVID first started, we thought it was like a blizzard. We thought like, hey, I can hunker down for two weeks. I can buy the toilet paper and all the supplies and I'm going to lock myself in and we've got this. <laughs> and then now here we are in the never ending winter <laughs> that has lasted almost a year. And now we have to start thinking about like, what does health look like in this season? And what practices do I need to be putting around me so that I come out of this whenever the world opens back up again? But even thinking about that, like that might not be next week or the week after or the week after. We keep getting these like moving targets and now we're like, okay, where's my hope? Like, what am I supposed to be looking at? Here? And I think it's so important even of, okay, now how do I get to the finish line that keeps moving anyways? Right. <laughs> but how do I run the race? Um, or live this life in a way that's that's healthy and not just waiting until down the road when life can be healthy. Right. Well, and I think like with a lot of companies now too, they're even looking at like, hey, maybe we're not going in the office this year. Maybe it's going to be the end of the year or next year. And so how are we setting up boundaries at home so we're not working 24 seven? How are we making sure that if our kids are doing distance learning or we have other things that we're juggling, like cleaning the house or doing laundry <laughs> or all those other things. Like how are we establishing those weekly, daily rhythms to set ourselves up for success so we're not drowning? That's so good. Yeah, I think one of the principles that is a, a biblical principle, but it's something that so many people throughout history have, have learned is so important is just that principle of rest. Yeah. And the Bible calls it Sabbath of this idea of at least one day a week. And, you know, for our culture, we used to do two days a week and then we maybe moved to one day a week and now it's the 21st century hardly anybody has a full day off ever right. anymore right yeah <laughs> um, what's a weekend <laughs> yeah right um, and this idea that okay well you need to set aside at least 24 hours um, to actually rest and recover and if you do that you're going to be more healthy right and if you do that and you get extra sleep that day if you get some mental refresh that day maybe you spend some time with family whatever it is that if you're intentional about that, that you can be healthy long term. And I think even goes back to like the idea of vacation mm. versus life. Mm -hmm. And I think so many people have gone like, okay, I'm looking forward to vacation. I'm looking forward to vacation. And like, I can't wait to get there. Right. And then you get home from vacation and you're not even done with your first day of work. And you're like, I'm tired already. <laughs> like when's the next vacation? I need it. And so this idea of Sabbath or this idea of rest every week is this idea of how do I set myself up to live in a healthy way for the long haul? Right. Um, and then the vacation actually is restful versus you spend the whole vacation like trying to get in this rest mode and you finally get rested and you get back and it's just like back to the grind. Have you done a vacation with your toddler yet? Because I don't <laughs> feel like vacation with toddlers is restful. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but I think one thing too that when we talk about Sabbath and rest is that sometimes it is an active thing. Yes. Like this isn't just sitting and binge watching Netflix and you're not doing anything. It could be you bust out a canvas and you paint some art or you hit the trails and go for a bike ride or playing golf or spending time with your family or reading a book or... Yeah, I mean, for me, it's sometimes it's doing woodworking and construction because I like that. Sometimes in this past year, that's actually been part of my work. And so that's not restful. Right. Um, and, you know, for me, it's like... it's different in different seasons. Yeah. And I think recognizing that what used to be restful pre-COVID might not be restful now. I think that's so key. We were talking about that um, on Sunday of Jesus even saying, hey, the times have changed right. and you need to change what you're doing to match the times or it just doesn't work. You're going to be worse off than you were before. And to your point, like the times are different and we, right. need, to, we need to live differently. Um, and so some of the things we can still do, like I can still go on a motorcycle ride yep. and that fills me up because I can do it by myself. But other things like we just can't, you know, do anymore. Right. We're not going to concerts and <laughs> sporting events and, you know, that's not happening. But I think the the foundation of it, of taking 24 hours to unplug from whatever it is that you are mostly doing during your week, whether it's working or maybe it's with your kids or your family. Like maybe you need to take some time away just for yourself. Like 
a couple of weeks ago, my husband got home and I was like, I'm going to take a bath. <laughs> I just need a moment where somebody doesn't need me. They don't want me. Like, I'm just going to like have a moment, pretend like I'm in a spa somewhere and just unplug and not have anything that I'm like giving because we need that time to be fueled, to be poured into and making sure that we separate and have that time where we put the computers away. We put away the work, whatever work looks like. And for some work is your family. Yeah, that's definitely true. And I think the point, I want to go back to that point you were saying about, you just kind of glazed over and I think it's a huge thing of, this is an intentional time. Yes. And so if you just like rest or like you were saying, like I, I binge watch my show or I sleep in or whatever, if I'm not intentional about it. It's actually not restful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it might be a day that I enjoy a little bit more, but it's kind of back to that vacation principle. Like you can enjoy the day, right. but then the next day comes and you're back the way you were right. <laughs> before you started. But the idea of a good rest is it's intentional. Like we plan something with our family. Um, I planned some time by myself. I gave Allie some time by herself. So mm -hmm. I had some time with Hannah right. and we planned out this and you know, this week we went on a hike and mm -hmm. next weekend we stayed in <laughs> and we were lazy and right. you know, but we planned that morning and being intentional about it is I think such the difference. And I think when we know we were successful is when we get to the next day, cause it doesn't have to be on a weekend, right. especially depending on what your right. work schedule is. Right. For some people that's never going to happen. You're never going to have, you work every weekend. Right. Um, but so what is your intentional day? And then if you give it success, successful, sorry, if you, if you were had success in that day, it's getting to the start of your week, whatever right. day that is, and you being rested mm -hmm. and ready for it versus, oh, I had a good weekend, but oh man, it's Monday. <laughs> right. And I think too, one thing to touch on, like, we're not saying that it isn't sometimes a time of resting, like sometimes on Sabbath I yeah. <laughs> and sometimes on Sabbath, I don't ever get out of my pajamas. <laughs> But it's taking that time to unplug and do it in whatever way fuels you. Yes. And I think that, you know, part of what we're trying to communicate here is that in this season, in this COVID life where right now there is no end, we're not getting to Oz where the curtain's going to come open <laughs> and we're going to be like, ta-da. Like we're not getting to that point. And so how are we taking care of ourselves now so that we continue to stay healthy and are our best selves to live yeah. out our purpose? It's really good. And I think for some of us too, we want to just keep working the whole week. I think it's a good thing to talk about is, you know, especially I remember when I was single, this was a lot more of a temptation yeah. than now um, that, okay, well, especially with work from home, I can always do more work. Yep. There's always more that can be done. It's always lingering. You know, I can get a jump on the week or I've got this project or I want to look good before my boss or whatever it is. And you, you never unplugged. It goes back to what we were even talking about a couple of weeks ago of like, okay, turning off your notifications yep. on your phone or whatever it is of how do you actually unplug for the, for a day? And for some people that sounds like forever, but how do you unplug for a day from life and rest and recover? Well, and I think too, it helps us to work smarter leading up to it. So how are we planning out our work week? How are we planning out our schedule so that we get to take that time off? Okay. I'm going to front load my work week so that by the time I get to this point where I'm resting and I'm breaking, that these things are done. Or I'm in a place where I can walk away from the emails and the world's not gonna implode. <laughs> and I think remembering that, that like the world's gonna keep spinning whether we're working or not, it's about how are we taking care of ourselves so that when we are working, that we are giving our best. Yeah, that's good. Well, we're glad you jumped in with us again um, on this topic of Sabbath, this topic of rest. We want to hear, what are you doing to rest? What are you doing to Sabbath? I think that conversation can give other people and give us ideas of, you know, oh, you did that. That might work for me. Let me try it. So let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and um, sign up so you get notified for more of these as we're going to do this every week. But we're glad you're with us. We hope you get some rest this week and you have a great week.